All right, you guys, Sephora. Come on, girl. This makeup is not done. She just didn't really do my makeup, you know? He was not very great. Hi guys, I'm Mar, and today we are gonna be comparing makeup or the makeup services at Sephora versus MAC. So I went over to both the Sephora counter and the MAC counter, and I had them do this makeup look on me. It was really interesting, both experiences were completely different and right now i did this look on myself which is not exactly the same as the one i showed you guys in the picture but this took about 30 minutes i did the full phase and that's relevant because you guys will see but this is kind of inspired in that picture it's not the full thing but you guys are gonna see why this is relevant in a minute p.s you guys i totally forgot to mention this while i was filming this video but i'm gonna have a meet and greet here in la it's on march 9th it's gonna be at the walmart in pico rivera so if you guys want to go it's from 1 to 4 p.m i'll leave all the details in the description but I'm gonna go. I would love to meet you guys. I always love just reading you guys and like liking your comments and replying. But meeting you guys in real life would be so special. But yeah, you're invited to come. I think it will be a lot of fun. I hope to see you there. I love you guys. But you guys, let's get started. All right, you guys. And my first stop was Sephora. All right, guys. We're on our way to Sephora. I'm a little nervous because I'm wearing makeup and I thought I wasn't supposed to wear makeup but it's just been kind of a hectic day so hopefully they'll take it off. I have a picture of what I want them to do and I'm going to take this same picture to both Sephora and MAC so we'll see. It's not too complicated. Also, I'm kind of in a rush today so I don't really have a lot of time. I need her to do it pretty quickly but I'm not going to rush her. I mean, if she takes longer, I guess it'll just be that luck for me but I'm crossing my fingers. She'll do it quickly because I don't know. It's just like a crazy day today but hopefully my makeup will be on fleek. Also, you guys should no, I'm not gonna really be vlogging the whole thing because I don't want her to see my camera and then be like, oh, I better do a good job. So I'm just gonna try and film here and there, but I'm gonna do the best I can, okay? I'll put you guys. All right, you guys, Sephora is right there. I'm going in. Look at my face right now. Hopefully, I'll look a lot better when I come out. <laughs> I'm waiting right here for my person to come fix this face up. It's pretty busy today. Oh, it's Friday. All right, so I'm sitting here. She calls me by like my Instagram handle, so I don't know. I don't know. She's gonna keep my complexion and gonna work on my eyes. She said she'll bamp it up, but I feel like my eye, like my face, isn't like good today. But I don't know. Let's see what she does. What the store is looking like today? Looking good. My girl's coming over there. It's already looking so good. Here. It's so cool. I would use um, custard and ginger. Ginger might be a little too warm for you right now. I went to get my lip color. You like my eyes look so good. So here is the makeup from Sephora. To be honest, I was very happy with it in the sense of like, I feel like she did a look that's flattering for my eye shape, but I mean, come on, girl. This makeup is not done. I think the girl that did this is a very talented artist. And I don't know if it's just cause, you know, she's not really getting paid extra for this. I don't know, but she just didn't really do my makeup, you know? You know, I went in with some makeup and she didn't touch up my foundation. She did touch up my under eye cause my under eye is tragic. And she was giving me some tips. I mean, honestly, she was very, very, very nice and I do think she's very talented she just like she didn't even touch up my brows I was like mm. she mostly worked on my eyes she recommended I not do like this glitter thing because it's like not very good for my hooded eyes and I agree with her but I did ask her to do it anyway just because I really wanted to see it and honestly I think this is what gives the look more of like life because without it I mean it wouldn't even be remotely similar to Karen's because she didn't even do anything on my bottom eye she did ask me if I wanted it as dramatic and I said not so intense but this is like, I mean, not intense at all. So to be honest, at least for me, I feel that I need to touch up my makeup right now because because it's just unfinished. Like here around my face, I feel like my contour isn't fully blended. I did like how she did my cheeks. I don't know. I feel like 
my face looks sculpted like nice I like the face shape she gave me and I mean she was quick it took her like about 40 minutes and that's including that she had to go back and forth she didn't just like grab all the products and do my makeup she just kept going back and forth the girl that was next to me did have a completely different person and that person grabbed like a basket full of goodies so you know every artist is different everybody does it in a, their own way but I don't know I mean I feel I wouldn't say like I'm super unhappy with this it's just I wish she would have finished it because it's just I feel like it's not done but yeah what do you guys think and after all of that I was off to Mac all right guys so now we're on our way to Mac my hair changed I promise you it hasn't been that long since we went to Sephora it's been like three days but my hair just happened to change I kind of did my makeup really quickly because I figured it should be the same for Sephora and for Mac and since I went in with a little bit of makeup to Sephora now I want to have a little bit of makeup for Mac I I hope they do a better job at MAC. I hope they actually do a full face of makeup at MAC. Especially because at MAC, you don't get the makeup for free with the purchase. You have to pay just for the makeup. So I'm expecting a little bit better. But yeah, let's go see what they do. I just realized that I lied to you guys accidentally, not on purpose, because it's actually been a full week because it was last Friday that I went to Sephora. And now this Friday, I'm going to MAC because I wanted it to be the same day. So we could judge just how busy it is. But anyway, so we could see how busy it would be because you know how it gets like busier on certain days. The appointment is at the exact same time on the exact same day so they should be pretty much equally as busy I would just want to compare how they do I just realized there's two Macs in this mall I don't know which one I called I just put Mac and only one came up I mean I think I called the Mac store I'm not sure though so it was at the store he just went to grab his brushes also he offered me some water while I waited which was nice so here we are waiting it's like a little setup. My face is looking ratchet, but here we are. So he's gonna do lashes now. I need to touch up my under eye. Lashes are on. This is for sure more dramatic. Okay guys, here I am. This is my finished result. For sure this looks a lot more similar to Karen's. But let's go home and I'll tell you guys all my thoughts. So this is me back from the Mac store. This is the makeup that he did. I like it. I feel that it looks a lot more like Karen's picture. The only thing is that he also did not really work on my foundation. He did touch up my under eye, but he said that my foundation was totally fine. And honestly, I don't think it was because I was literally wearing BB cream that it took me maybe 15 seconds to put on. And when it got here, I realized that I actually had pieces falling off from my nose. So I don't know because both Sephora and MAC did that where they were like, oh, your foundation's totally fine, girl. It's just do the eyes. I don't know if I'm just really picky about my foundation and I like it to be like flawless or if it's just to save time, I don't know. But I'm gonna tell you guys about my experience at MAC and then I'm gonna compare the two and tell you which one I thought was better. So MAC, first off, I have to tell you when I walked in, I was like, no, because the guy that did my makeup was the same guy that was helping me when I went into the MAC store wearing really bad makeup. And I was like, no, I mean, he was not very great. <laughs> I don't know how to say it because he wasn't rude. He just wasn't very helpful. That one time I went in wearing really bad makeup. So I did not have a lot of hopes for him. But let me tell you, this experience kind of confirmed what I was thinking on that video, which is that people at store stores where they sell makeup are not as nice to you when you're wearing bad makeup because when I went into Sephora they were not nice at all and when I went to MAC he was not like not nice but he also wasn't super friendly and I got to compare it with how he was this time around and he was so friendly so I really got to see the difference if you guys haven't checked out those videos where I went into Sephora with really 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 bad makeup and into MAC also with really bad makeup I will leave the links for you guys to go check them out after you're done watching this one but yeah that was crazy so he was super nice the whole entire time he made it really pleasant being there and getting my makeup done it was like a whole experience it was really fun also when I showed him the picture he did do kind of a smoky eye this part here which is the line with glitter I feel it's not really fair to judge it because it doesn't look super clean but also they don't have glitter liners at MAC I asked him and he was like no I'm just gonna have to kind of mix this up right here and he did go and mix it up and he was just very open to doing everything that I asked 
asked for and with the really good attitude he wasn't like oh no you can't pull this off he was just like yeah let's do it absolutely he was talking to me he was telling me about himself you know it was just like a really nice experience that i felt like really at ease and really happy the max store is for sure much smaller than the sephora and it was kind of a busy day so there was people coming in and he did have to greet them and sometimes he would go help them but he did it in a way where i didn't really feel ignored or anything he would do it like really quickly and he would just like say hi how are you okay i'll be right with you he never kind of like just left me where i was like hey finish up my makeup it was just like moments for example when my lash glue was drying or stuff like that or when something was setting so i feel that he did a really good job kind of multitasking because he was there with two other people at the store but the store was so busy that he did have to greet other customers so i think he did really good with that he was also giving me little tips and tricks i personally don't love the lash he picked for me i think it brings down my eye i think the lash the girl at sephora picked for me was a little bit better but that's my personal preference i want to know what you guys think about the makeup which ones you guys like better so go down in the comments let me know which one you prefer and also this is really important so when i went into mac i knew they charged 60 dollars for the makeup and i was fully prepared to pay for that and that includes one free mascara so you pay the 60 dollars and they give you a mascara but i also on my own i wanted to buy some of the products he used on me just because i like them and i wanted them and he ended up not charging me the 60 dollars so i paid 68 dollars and that was all for product it was not for the makeup application that was basically free so i thought it was really cool of him i don't know if they do that all the time but it was definitely really special and made me feel really nice i was like oh my god that's so cool because i was buying the product because i wanted it i did not feel like he was pushing the product at all i actually had to ask about the product because i wanted to buy some fix plus because i just when he sprayed it on me i was like oh fix plus oh i miss this so much i just love the scent of it so i bought some of that and bought something for my lip and i bought my lashes of course so yeah overall i was really happy now comparing mac versus sephora i'm gonna tell you guys the biggest differences that i saw and you guys tell me which one you think the winner is here so obviously the makeup you guys saw it i will insert a picture for you guys right here to compare side to side and you can tell me which one you like more the person that i got at sephora took 40 minutes and she only did pretty much my eyes and the person that i got at mac did use the full hour mostly working on my eyes he did touch my face but not that much i would say the foundation was very minimal he only added like a bit of a powder and that was it but the eyes are a lot more similar to the look that I showed him a picture of. I don't know, you guys tell me what you think. Sephora is free with a $50 purchase. MAC is $60, you don't have to buy makeup, but it ended up being free for me because I don't know if I got lucky or if that's what they usually do if you buy makeup. And I really think the biggest difference is that the girl at Sephora kept pushing the product she kept saying like oh you should get this if you're using this because she was like oh you're gonna have to buy it anyway but when i tallied up the things that she was like oh you're gonna have to buy it anyway because you need to get the 50 dollars it was over a hundred dollars so i was like uh i'm returning a bunch of this stuff but it ended up being like 75 dollars anyway and the guy at mac he didn't push any product he was like oh this product's really cool so it just seemed a little bit more genuine oh and also sephora they do have a bunch of brands and mac only has a mac so if there's like a different product that you want to use Mac might not have it. Sephora, they have a lot of stuff. So yeah, those were the differences that I saw. Let me know which of the makeups you like better. Maybe you liked mine better. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know, you guys. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Don't forget to check out the other videos I mentioned. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Don't forget, I post new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. And yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my channel by clicking down there. And also, tap that little notification bell to join Clubmar. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!